Hi, my beautiful dragonflies. Okay, I'm back, and I'm feeling pretty good. Um, still have a few pains here and there, but the main pains are gone, and um, so I'm back. We're going to do a get ready with me, and then I have a few unboxings that we're going to do so that we'll carry on throughout the week. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I have everything laid out. Um, I have a mirror behind me. And, um, okay, <clears throat> let's get going. Oh, I have already used my moisturizer and an, an eye serum because my bags are really bad lately. So, we're hoping that will help that. So, well, I'm hoping that will help that. Um, we're still using the Revlon Color, uh, color Shade Whipped. Um, and I'm going to use my Beauty Blender. I'm using the one from Walmart today. So, get any in there because we are really getting low. Oh, oh, you know what? Before I do that, we should probably prime my face. Which I'm still using the e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Primer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use it just because I want to get it used up. Um, but and my redness is not horribly bad right now. So... Really want to get it in that T-zone area in the chin really good. So that is where I normally have problems with pores. So. Okay. Now that we've primed, we can get our foundation on. in there and get some. Come on. Oh, there we go. So, how has everybody been? I hope good. I'm so glad I'm up and, and able to do things now and feeling more alive. Which is great. I hate feeling down. I will have a project pan update for July. And I didn't have one for the last couple months, but I will have one for July. So, no worries there. Okay, let me get this closed up. So I don't make a mess with it. And let's do our concealing. Um, uh, just so you guys know, I did go on and I did a survey for the hospital about how I was treated and how I felt about it and all that good stuff. So, hopefully, I don't know if they'll do anything or won't do anything, but hopefully they will look into it and, uh, something will be done about it because... Hey, I'm going to go in with my Morphe, and I would tell you what it is, but my Y whatever, Y number has come off. And I'm just going to go in with the Stay Matte Remove Press Powder, and put that on. And just double check, because it's been a while since I've done this. I don't have any other wet product that needs to go on yet. So, get in here and get some powder. So, guess why I was down and out? Everybody's been heading over to this new website called Vova. So, 
are moseyed over there too. And I put in an order. <laughs> so that should be coming soon. So we'll get to see what that's all about and how we like it. Okay. And now, hmm. uh, now, her bronzer. Bronzer. Her bronzer. It is the Morphe E56. Okay. We're going to go in with the Butter Bronzer from uh, Physician's Formula. Hope I didn't go too much. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's alright. Okay, now we're going to go in with the contour. And the first brush I'm going to use for the contour is the Morphe G42. And I'm going to use that to go in contour the cheeks. I think I got a little heavy handed there. So I might have to go back in with the powder. Okay, do the jawline really quick. And put under the bottom lip so it looks fuller. And then I'm going to switch brushes. I'm going to go in with this uh, e, Morphe E47. It's a little more angled, and I'm going to use that one to do my nose. And we will blend that out with my powder brush. I'm not adding any powder to it. I'm just using it to blend this out. And I'm going to use it to soften some of this up a little bit. And then we'll go in with our blush. Okay. Let's go in with blush. And of course, we're using the Milani Rom Romantic Rose. Yes, Romantic Rose. I actually remembered it. Remembered what it was called. I'm proud of myself. Okay. And we're going to go in with the Morphe M104. Put that around there so you can see it. And I'm just going to apples and cheeks and pull it back slightly. Apples of the cheek and pull it back slightly. Okay. I am just noticing that I did not get any kind of highlight out. Hmm. Maybe we won't do highlight today. Maybe we just won't. We'll wait. Okay, so now we need to start on the eyes. So I'm going to start with the eyebrows. And I am using the Wet n Wild. And I did find it. I don't even remember if I told you guys that I'd lost it, but I couldn't find it for the life of me, and it was driving me bonkers. Just complete bonkers. Got a hair that, a wild hair. And, um, it was in with my dirty brushes, which was a good place for it, I guess, huh? 
So when I did my brushes, I found it. I was like, because I had brushes that I had used prior go to going to the hospital. And then I thought, well, I'm not going to be in the hospital for very long. I'll just get them done when I get back. I was in there a lot longer than I thought. And then I was down a lot longer than I thought I would ever be. I mean, I've had Buku surgeries and this is probably the hardest recovery I've had out of all the surgeries I've had. And I've had a lot. All right, I'm gonna go in with some of this um, Physician's Formula, the liquid part of that duo that I had. That just, I've got a couple wild hairs that don't wanna behave. Eyebrows done. So now I gotta go in. I wanna go ahead and put down a base. So I'm going to use the Morphe M166. And I'm gonna put my eye primer on, which is the um, Manicadar uh, Prime Time, is what it's called. And so far, everything that I've used is in. Project Pan except for the Physician's Formula bronzer and the, yeah, the, the gel for the eyelashes, eyebrows, not eyelashes. Okay, let's get this on here. I've got this smaller mirror up close. And I'm trying to use it. I think it's helping a little bit. It's been a while since I've done a full face of makeup. So it's starting to hurt just a little. The left side's giving me more trouble than anything, but I found a knot underneath my left breast, left breast and um, it has really, really, I'm struggling with that one. But it's okay, I'm gonna make it through this. I have to make it through this. I don't have choices. This is it, this is what I wanna do, and this is where I wanna be, and so, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Y22, and I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal, and it is in 304 Matte It Up. And I'm just going to go in and I want to put that in my crease. It's slightly above my crease because of the hooded eye. Just really want to get it in there good. And I'm going to go in with the Morphe E28 and use that to just blend. I just want to blend that. And then, while I was in the hospital, of course, all my subscription boxes came and everything, and I thought I was going to have plenty of time to do them and all this but I got in my Ipsy, I got this one is called Tetris. And it is an eyeshadow palette. It's really fun. Because I remember these growing up. These are my games. Okay. Tetris, Pac Man, all of that. And then the Wet n Wild has that new Pac Man out. And I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to try and get any of it or not, but this is what the palette looks like. I am going to go in with the Morphe R33, and I'm going to go into this yellowish color here, which is called Game Changer. I 
I haven't figured out exactly what kind of looks I can do. And I'm just going to increase the colors of my crease with that little bit of a kind of a yellow color. And then blend. Okay, I'm gonna, then I'm going to set this aside because I'm not sure what to do with the rest of that palette. Ugh, give me time, I'll figure it out. But I'm going to go back in with our moods from the Laura Sanchez that we got. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to pick up... Well, first I'm going to get a brush and I'm going to use the Morphe Y18. And I'm going to go in with... This darker brown here we don't have color names but I'm gonna go in with this darker brown oh and I can use that highlight too that works okay and the darker brown I'm gonna use it in the outer corner and bring it in with the V just so we can get just a little bit of depth going here definitely want some depth to the eyes outer corner okay and then where are we gonna go I think I will go with that mustardy yellow first I need a blend 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 Blending is one of the most important parts of this. Blend, 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 blend. Blend, 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 blend. I kind of am on the fence about this Tetris palette. I kind of played with it the other day, wanting to know, you know, kind of what it was about. And I just I don't know about the color payoff with it yet. So I'm going to have to play with that just a little bit more and see where we're at with that. Okay, I think I'm going to take this mustardy yellow that's in here and put that all over the lid. And I need a brush. And I think I'm going to use the Morphe R35. This palette, I love it, but it does have a little bit of fallout with some of the colors, like this mustardy yellow. But I'm going to get it in there. And this is what I'm talking about. I'm going to have to go back in with some of my other colors and really deepen. I'm going to see how much this one gives me so much more yellow. The, and the one from Tetris really didn't give me much at all. So, let me see. I need to go back in. I will blend, but I need to go back in and add some of these colors back in. So I'm going to go back in with the L'Oreal. Matte it up. And then I need to go back in with this darker brown. Come on my brush. Okay, now let's blend this. Do you guys hear the dog? <laughs> 
he's waiting because we got his box today too and he knows it's there all right i'm going to go in with this morphe m455 and i'm going to pick up some of that color do i want to go with the brown color or do i want to go with the I think I'm going to go with the yellow, the mustardy yellow that's in this Moods palette. And I'm going to put that underneath the eye. Help bring the eye together, the eye look together. Put myself in the eye. I don't think you're supposed to do that. But I did it. Okay, now I need... I need something. That's the look of needs of something. So I'm going to take this. Not that one. It's going to work. Morphe M326. And I'm going to go in to this coppery color. And I'm going to put that right in the center of the uh, the. Mm. The lid just in the center though I just want something to pop I don't know if that's helping or not I can see it but I don't think you guys can see it on camera try building it up just a little bit more and we'll see I think you guys can see it a little bit. It does add to the look. I'm going to take that same little brush and add some of that down here. Okay. And then I need a nice little fluffy, but not real big fluffy. How about this one? The Morphe E35 a small little brush and I'm going to go into this highlight right here and I'm going to go into the corner inner corner of the eye and then bring it down just a little bit to meet up with the rest of that eye look and I'm going to do the same over here La 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 la. How's that look, guys? Mm. Okay, we're gonna leave that there because I'm gonna use the highlight out of that. I'm gonna leave my brushes there because I have to do any touch ups. Um, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in with the arrow enhance and I'm gonna put that on the lower waterline. That almost matches the inner corner. Okay. A little irritated. Not used to it. It's been a while, but we're going to keep going. Okay. Next, we are going to line our eyes, and we are using... Okay, eyeball stop. The Palladio Liquid Liner in Black. And let's see how bad I can mess this one up because it's been a while. I'm going to flip this small mirror over to magnification so I can see a little bit more. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I don't even know. Get 
get that side to dry. And then let's go in and get the other side done. And you're too bad for not being... I haven't done this in like a month. So it's not too bad, I don't think. I don't know. I'm not real sure I like the way that's... Angled. I definitely don't want a double wing all day, but okay. Let's keep it going here. I like that wing better. Okay, let's go fix this one. Okay, got my Q-chips. I'm going to flip this over back over. Got a Q-chip. I need my... I'll set it over here. Oh, there it is. I'm trying to keep everything together that I'm using so I can make sure I have it in the down bar. So everybody will know what I'm using I need to fix that side. Let's fix this side first. Go in with my Ready Set Gorgeous. Let's go in and try and clean that up a little bit. Not too bad. Not too bad. Got my little trash bag down there. Okay, now let's go in and fix this eye. You see where it like got a nasty slope? We're just gonna fill that nasty slope in. There we go. Get rid of that nasty slope. Okay. I'm gonna do um, the Pixie Pat Petra mascara. And I'm going to do a small little thing off here. No, I'm going to curl my eyebrows first, eyelashes first. And then I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to put all my falsies, which I'm just using these I got in a pack. I can't remember. I don't have the package anymore, but they came from TJ Maxx. I got them for like $2. So nothing fancy. And I did drop a little eyeliner right there. Okay, it's gone. Okay, but I'm going to go off camera and get this done, and I'll be right back. Oh, thank God I paused you guys because that took way longer than it ever should have. Okay, so I did get them on. Um, that's the best on this eye. This eye is a little wonky, but they're on. Um, it does say on here that they are in so natural, but I still can't find the name of the actual lashes. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, if I can find it, I will list it down below. Okay, let's go in with our highlight from the Moods palette. This one right here. And let's get some bling on our face. Ooh, that is bling. That's a lot of bling. 
Okay, I'm not gonna add any more to this brush. Wow, that is definitely some bling. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of a pinky purple bling. <laughs> but that's some bling. Okay. <laughs> Let's get on to our lips. Now, one of you wonderful subscribers said something about possibly taking a I don't know though guys it looks really gooey in there but we're gonna try it we're gonna take a q-tip and try and push this up oh it's squishing out the bottom I don't know I think I got a deformed one because there's a lot of product in the bottom but there's see there's just no way to get it to move up. I can't get it to move up. Yeah, there's a lot of product in there. I'm just not getting it to move up. Even pushing on it, it's not going up. So I think I just got a deformed one or I don't know. I mean, there's just no way. Maybe it melted? I think there'd be a way to move, get it, ugh, I'll put it everywhere now. You'd think there'd be a way to get it out of this tube. But there's no way. So, I was gonna use it, but I think it's, I think it's done, I think I'm done with it. It's just, it's becoming more of a pain than anything. Let me get in here and get a wipe real quick. Clean my fingers off. I'm using these from the Dollar Tree in from Bolero cleansing hibiscus and pink clay. They smell good. But I don't know what they'll do to my face, so. They do smell good. Let me make sure I got all of that off of my fingers or I will have it everywhere. I'm pretty sure I got it all off. Okay. So, lips. What are we going to do for our lips? Let's go with the hard candy. It's got plumping serum in it, and it is in the uh, color Sugar Sugar. Let's go ahead and go with that, because it is... Sorry that I'm looking away from you guys. Because that is more of a neutral color. Oof. So let's go with that. and see. It's not adding anything. It might be a plumping serum, but it's not adding anything to my lips. It's one of them I got out of a Walmart box a while ago. Oh, let's see what we got. We got NARS. It's kind of a pinky color. It doesn't move up either. And it's called Let's Go Crazy. Let's try it. It's kind of a pinky color. That's not too bad.
that plumping stuff is, I can feel it. Okay. This lid keeps trying to pop off. Stop. Okay, I'm going to put that in, project pan. That'll be the one we pull in. I guess that's not too bad. But that's our look. So, let me get my hair down. Oh my goodness. Hopefully my hair is behaving. It wants to do all kinds of crazy things here lately. That's that's it. That's our look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I don't think it turned out too bad. So, there we go. Alright. I will be back here just shortly. And we'll do a couple more videos. So, I said I need to pop these videos out. Get them ready so I can get them edited and get them up. It's taking me longer to edit because I'm not used to it. I'm not in the swing of things. So, um, I thank you guys so much for coming along. I love each and every one of you. I love each and every one of you. Remember, all dragonflies are beautiful in their own way. And I'll see you in the next video. Alright, guys. Bye!